The other day I was posed the question of how do you control the displacement subdivisions inside of Karma? And I wasn't quite sure how to do it, so I figured I would take a look and try to get this question answered. So it turns out this is actually pretty easy here, but I'm just gonna quickly go over my scene. All I've got is a simple stop create with a grid and some UVs, and then a material just set up here. This is a mega scans material. So we've got tiled image with our displacement and our roughness uh, piped into a standard surface. And then the displacement just piped through into this collect node. And that's how you basically set up a quick displacement and shader inside of Material X for Karma. And then just got a dome light with an HDRI. But the big thing here to control the displacement, and let's actually show our geometry one more time here. If I look at my grid, I just have simple 10 by 10 rows. Let's set this not by one, but a two by two to create a, a square here, a grid. And you can see once this loads back in here, the, we get the same displacement going on. It is not any lower res than it was before. So obviously it's not being generated through the geometry. But if I go into our comma properties here and I come over in this rendering tab down to geometry and shading, I can set this dicing quality up a little bit higher or a little bit lower. So let's go down to something like 0.1 and you see a load back up here, it looks like garbage. And that's because that is controlling the subdivision. So if we pump this all the way up to something like four, once it loads back up, you're gonna see that it is a lot more high res. So we got all these details in here, looking good just like the way that we wanted. So that is just quickly how you can go about controlling the subdivisions of your displacements using Karma. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, that is definitely something that you're gonna want to have the ability to control. I should have looked into that more in the original video, but this is how you go about doing it. So thank you for posing that question. It was uh, Lucas who asked that question. So thank you for that. Hopefully this helps you out and answers what you're looking for. But anyways, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel showing off different things inside Houdini as well as Redshift. I got some stuff on Octane, Cinema 4D, and Clarice as well. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, make sure you guys check out those videos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.